Here we are, Spazio Rossano Orlandi with Pita and Eich. Pita and class in 1967, studied in Eindhoven. He established a studio in Eindhoven. He graduated from Eindhoven in 1990. He took two or three years of military service. Is it too? Is it so long? In, uh, yeah, but in it's, it's because I had to wait to start. Ah, that's and then right. so it's the the. Because the then in 1992-1993, he established his own studio and he started working. He really is a guy yeah. that likes to put in his hands on the things, and uh, he's a, he's a very peculiar character, I would say, Pete, because. He belonged to the same generation almost of Marcel, Jürgen, Ella. They almost graduated at the same time from yeah. Eindhoven, right? So they were friends. But he totally chose another direction. He chose a very um, individual um, road. In fact, now, for example, if you see this is the place that uh, Pete just bought, he's turning it into his own atelier. And he's got 46 people working for him. I mean, he really interpreted the, um, his career in a very different way. He, he wanted almost to, to become a, a, a company, right? A, a, yeah, to, yeah. to build things by himself, not as a designer, almost really establishing a company. That's what his aim was and that's what he says in, in all the interviews. And um, of course his poetic is, for example, he, he doesn't like things too refined, you know, like it's too conceptual, the, the, uh, the light bulb in the, in the room, as you say, with, yeah, the, yeah. with the too conceptual Dutch design. He prefers really, in a way, a dirty look, kind of a, of a primitive look in a way. I mean, his most famous works are the, the scrap woods and the, his work with scrap is probably the, um, the spine of his work. But Pete, after this introduction, tell us about you. Yeah, well, it's, it's a good introduction. So, <laughs> and I didn't even uh, tell anything before. So, it, but that's, I think, the, 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 the most important part of what I do is that I, I like the production, really. So it's not, I, I didn't choose to do it because I thought it was clever to do or something. But I like producing, I like working with people, I like even, I like even bookkeeping, you know. I, I like having a company and all the aspects of it. And I saw also, that for me, it was, if you have a design and you have to go with your design to somebody else, it takes a lot of energy. And I thought, well, if I put all the energy at once in creating a brand and also a production facility and a distribution, in the end, you, on, you only have to design. You don't have to put any energy in other things than designing. So, so it seems to be a lot of work, but it turns out to be quite efficient if you want to realize your own ideas. And I never, I never heard it's not possible. You know, everybody, because the people do what I, what I ask them to do, and sometimes they say, well, it's difficult, but, you know, it's, it's very, very easy going if you have your own facility. So, so in the end, it's, uh, it's also then, practical. But then what's the difference? I mean, uh, when uh, the designer finishes and the, and the entrepreneur starts, you know what I mean? It's like, which is the, the line that divides the two things? Because sometimes you're too busy thinking about how to go on with 46 people, you know what I mean? No, no, the, the strange thing is, that, so like this exhibition now, this is a, a year's work, 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 so we don't make things specifically for the fair. Mm -hmm. So we just do all the new stuff because we develop the whole like year Like a company, through. basically. Like a company, and so we put the things down. But this year we were very busy because we bought a new building, made plans, we're actually working in it already to make it ready. So it was crazy busy. But, but when I was making the list of things we, 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 we de I designed and we actually pr uh, took in production, it was much bigger than ever. So it's quite busy, but, but it doesn't mean it stops. So, you know, I, everybody knows if you're busy, you think a lot and you get new ideas. But the whole facility and the whole configuration in which we're working makes a lot possible.